I mean, come on. Hey there, welcome on into another episode of Be Beautiful. I'm Vanessa. If you are new here, thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you are a subscriber, I so appreciate you being a part of this beauty community. We are talking about one of my very favorite ways to shop for beauty, especially, especially underline, especially underline capital letters, especially if I am trying out a new brand or a new product for the very first time. And that is by buying the mini version, the baby. So I know sometimes it's hard to find a mini, like every brand, every product does not come in that smaller version. But if there's something I am really interested in trying, but I'm not sure if I want to take the full on plunge into it, I definitely look to see if there's a mini version. And if there is, I add to cart and give it a go. So I want to show you some of my favorite minis that are available at the queue right now. First, this one comes from my all time favorite flat iron maker, <laughs> which is Bobolus. So my all time favorite flat iron is the Prima style, which that one has plates on the outside that also heat up, but I've always wanted to try their classic style. I feel like Bobolus flat irons are like pretty high end, right? I mean, it's kind of an investment. And so I'm glad that we have this mini version of their classic style. This is the Nano Titanium in the small version so you can give it a try. But more importantly, I like to have a smaller flat iron because I like to get my edges and my flyaways. And depending on the length of your hair, this could be enough for you to flat iron your whole entire head. So it's a great size, yes, to give the brand and the technology a try, but also if you've got that bigger flat iron, but you find it's hard to get into like these little areas on the side or on the top, or just to do those quick little touch-ups, there's definitely a place in your collection for a mini flat iron. So this one's simple on off button. And I like that it actually has the place here for your finger. So when you are holding it closed, it's comfortable to do that. I'm just gonna give it a go around my edges because this is like for me, this area in here is like always where I have the toughest time flat ironing with a larger flat iron. And I do feel like this has a good amount of heat it's giving off without being too, too hot. And I am able to get really, really close on these little hairs here on the side that are just like, just always cause me problems, man. I feel like they don't want to let me be great ever. So these are the ones I feel like I'm always reaching for and trying to make sure that I get them smoothed out. And this is doing a good job. So I need to smooth that piece out really nicely. So I feel like for a mini version, like absolutely, if you have not tried this brand, give this one a try. But also I feel like if you have a big flat iron, this is the perfect size for those little jobs or on the go as well. Of course, I've had to have some color cosmetics. I mean, I feel like I just cannot live without makeup, honestly. It's just so fun to play in. And this one is from RMS Beauty, which I actually haven't tried any of their color products. So I was really excited when we saw that we have a mini version from the brand. So this is our mini luminizer quad. So you are getting four shades in here that you can use wherever you want to, like on your eyes, your lips, your cheeks. I'm going to swatch all of them so you can see what they look like. So the first one I'm going to swatch is this deeper color. And this is a balm texture. So it's really, really lightweight and easy to apply on the skin. Okay. So the first one on me, I don't feel like I'm seeing like a ton of color. This is the Luminizer Nude. And I feel like I do get that balmy sort of glow from it. So sometimes I do like to highlight just by using texture versus color. So because I get a little shine, I could do that, but I don't feel like I'm getting as much color from that one. All right, so I'm gonna do the one beside it. And that one is the Luminizer X. Okay, yeah, with Luminizer X, I'm getting more color. Oh, and it's so pretty. It's like a pearly kind of shade. So you get that pearlescence, not a ton of color, but you see, as I move my hand, you notice that pearlescence, that's a really pretty shade. And in this balm formula, like easy to wear. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna do Champagne Fizz, 
which is also a pearly shade. In the quad, it is more like shimmery. So I won't say glittery, it's more shimmery. And the one we just tried has a little bit more purple in it. And this one is a little bit more silver. So you can see them beside each other. All these are really light, so none of them are really gonna be like super, super high impact, which I think makes them wearable as well. And then Champagne Fizz is our last option. And this one seems like it's more of like a bronzy kind of color. And on me, Champagne Fizz, it has more color than the first one we tried. Yeah, it's like pinky. It's like a pinkish purple. So when you look out on my hand, it's like a pinkish purple. Now you, you do notice how you get all of that luminosity no matter which one that you go with because it is that balm texture. So I'm gonna bring y'all on in. Okay, we're up close and personal. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyes. I think I wanna do that Champagne Fizz, the last one we did. And I'm just gonna kind of swipe it across my eyes. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so pretty on the eye. I love the texture of this. I love the color on my eye. And I like that it's just that little something. Like sometimes a color like this, if it's super, super pigmented, can be a little bit unwearable. But I feel like I'm getting a little color and it's still really wearable. And I like that little bit of shine, especially on my eye if I'm doing something light where I don't want a lot of color there, but I do want a little something. And I think adding texture as well as that little bit of color accomplishes that. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use the second one we tried that has a little bit of that purpley tinge to it. Oh, by the way, mirror included for a mini size. I'm gonna use this one on my cheek and see how that looks. So I'm just gonna dot it over my cheek. Oh, this is pretty. I love this. And look at that highlight. I mean, this cheek compared to this cheek, I mean, come on. Oh, this highlight is so, so pretty. All right, I gotta do the other cheek. But I could definitely see this as like, if you are really into like neutral makeup, like easy makeup, you don't want anything difficult, this is definitely the quad for you. If you do like more glam, I don't know if you will appreciate the softness of some of these colors, but I even think that if you like more glam, like typically I go a little bit more glam. I appreciate something like this for the days where I just wanna pop on something that's easy and I can get out the door and this accomplishes that. So four shades in here, mirror included from RMS Beauty or Luminizer Quad. Our next makeup item is from Velour Beauty. And so you may have heard of Velour Beauty for their false lashes. And of course, a false lash company has gotta give you a great mascara. And this is their big deal mascara in the mini size. So if you haven't, tried it it's a great way to do so and if you love it but you need like that travel version the one to like throw in your purse or your makeup bag I feel like it's great for that too the wand on this one is so good I like that it has all those little grooves in there it almost looks like a little Christmas tree and has a little bit of a curve to it can you see that? Yeah, a little bit of a curve to it. So you'll be able to really hug those lashes. Now what I like to do if I'm not wearing false lashes, which I'm not today, is to really focus on my outer lashes and build them up. And for my eye shape and the way I like to do my makeup, I have more of an almond eye shape. And I like to do a lot of sort of shapes that accentuate that. Um, I feel like when I just focus on these outer, like the outer half or third, I'm able to accomplish that look with mascara. Now I like that I'm getting nice separation here and I'm getting good length because I've got really, really like baby lashes. So I need some length, but I also need separation because I don't feel like there's a lot happening here. And I'm getting both of those with this formula. And you see what I mean here? I'm just accentuating that outer corner and I feel like it helps my eyes look brighter and just more awake. I'm telling you, the more I catch this highlight from that quad on camera, the more I'm like, 
I might need to use this every single day. <laughs> I'm getting a little obsessed with it. It is so good. I mean, I feel like the swatches honestly didn't do it justice because sometimes when you swatch things on your hand and then when you apply them like where you're actually gonna wear them, it's two different ball games. Not all the time, but sometimes. And I feel like this is one of those ones where like the swatches, I was kind of like, okay, I don't really know about this. I don't know if I get it. But then once I applied, I was like, oh. I get it. I like that this mascara feels light as I'm applying it. Like it feels very like, like air almost, which I do like because I got little itty bitty lashes. So anything that I can do to like make them not feel heavy and weighed down is good. I am liking this little easy eye look. I mean, one swipe, little mascara and done. Count me in. So our last mini product is fragrance. And this one is an entire collection of fragrance in the mini size. And it comes to us from Clinique. It's the Happy Treat. So there's four of the happy fragrances in here. So it's Happy, Happy Heart, A Hint of Centrus, and Happy in Bloom. And I like to buy fragrances in minis. I do this very often. I also kind of hoard <laughs> those like free samples you can get sometimes because I like to really experience a fragrance before I buy it. So I like the fact that I'm getting mini sizes of these and there's a good amount in here like this is enough for you to experience like wear for a couple weeks maybe even a month or two and see if you really really like the fragrance and then even layer them together and see how they mix with each other so four in total all in this size which is they are 0.24 ounces and i like too that if i do want to have one in the car or at the office or you know like some places where you're like sometimes i just need a little freshen up, little pick me up. I like that they're small enough that you can do this. Now I will say that Clinique Happy, where's the, oh, here it is. Clinique Happy is one of the very first fragrances I ever bought. And I actually like did not have enough to get the actual fragrance. I want to say I was in high school maybe. So I didn't have enough for the spray, but they had a balm. And so I got the fragrance balm and like you could, you know, run your finger through it and put on your pulse points. And that's the first way that I was able to get my first fragrance. And so every time I see Clinique Happy, I think about that, my first experience with fragrance. And I mean, this one, I wore this every single day <laughs> and it smells just like I remember. And it makes me happy thinking about that. So the first one you get is Clinique Happy. Then there's also a hint of citrus, which let me spray that and see how that one smells. It smells like it just like that, like happy with a little extra citrus to it. And not too much where it's like off-putting, just enough to be like that fresh burst of citrus. I could see like this one, as that morning fragrance, if you are usually like an evening afternoon person, that day you gotta get up early, the hint of citrus is for you. Then we've got Happy Heart. Happy Heart has more of those like floral tones. It smells like happy to me with like a beautiful bouquet of flowers. So perfect one for date night, Valentine's Day, or just when you need to show yourself a little bit more love and grace, Happy Heart. Mm, as it's like coming down and spraying in the air. <laughs> I love Happy Heart. Okay, and the last one is Clinique Happy in Bloom. In Bloom and Happy Heart smell very similar, but I will say In Bloom has more of like a freshness to it, like almost like floral but fresh laundry at the same time. I could actually see layering those together, but the fun thing is, is because there's four of them in the collection, you can wear them alone or layer them because you have the flexibility to do so and see, you know, which ones you like the best. And that does it. I hope that you enjoyed this video on one of my favorite ways to shop for beauty, which is in the mini. We got small for this episode of Be Beautiful. Please, please, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. There will be new videos in the Be Beautiful series coming your way. And I will see you next time. Bye.